Hey everyone, this is one of the first videos that we're going to do um, to show you what we do as a chiropractor, how we do things, uh, and also why we do that. Because I think it's so important, um, chiropractic as a, as a part of your, your health regimen, and just like brushing your teeth and seeing the dentist is a huge part of your you know dental hygiene care looking after your joints I think chiropractic is a big part of that too so this is the start of the adjustment and we're just palpating just feeling the the joints of the pelvis and the lower back to see if any of them are working well and any of them are not working well uh, the main focus for me is I'm going to look for joints that are stiff that are not moving the way they should because every every single joint in the body they should move in a certain way and as chiropractors you know we've we've felt enough bones and joints over the years to know you know what a healthy joint should feel like so that little tool is an activator it's a it's a spring-loaded tool it allows me to push the joints back into the right movement, the right position. It's quite gentle, really. A lot of people think that it's uh, chiropractic hurts. 99% of the time, it's it's comfortable. It's it's relaxing. Look at how relaxed this client is. He's just laying down. So right now we're focusing on the on the pelvic joints and the and the, and, and the muscles and the buttocks. It's getting them to be nice and soft nice and soft which is what we want them to be a lot of these buttock muscles they're really deep even the joints too they're really really deep inside so and this is one of the newer adjustments i'm doing for this client because what i noticed in the past was whenever i did the um, when i used the activator or other techniques it does help the pelvic joints to move better, but it messes up the, the the ones in the lower back. It makes them stiffen up. So sometimes the body does this. It, it reacts to an adjustment and the body fights back. So this one where I'm lifting, lifting his whole leg um, up into the air. When I do this adjustment, um, you know, the lower back doesn't doesn't fight back, which is why I'm sticking to this one for now. Uh, this is the other side you can see i'm working those ones and this client's been here uh, been seeing me for a while now um, he's been really regular really consistent with his adjustments which is the key for improvement um, so you can see he's just just full trust he, he knows what i'm gonna do no surprises he knows the drill he knows the routine And I think that's me just saying, you know, I'm happy with the, I'm happy with the movement now. <laughs> happy with the movement on the lower back of the pelvis, and we're gonna move up to the middle back. And if memory serve me, serves me right, um, I think his middle back wasn't too bad. Looks like I found a... Oh, that seems okay. So usually when we find a single joint that's stuck, um, we'll spend a bit of a time to, 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 to see which way it's it's not functioning properly. You know, So when you see me lingering around a, sing, uh, a particular area, that's because I found an issue and that's, that's the adjustment there. So just breathing in, breathing out, and then a slight push for these ones, using the hands, sometimes um, you do hear a little popping sound, a little cracking sound. I don't like to use the, the word crack because it sounds like I'm breaking the bones, which obviously I'm not. Um, it, it's a popping sound. It's like, it's like playing with bubble wrap. The ones you get from Amazon, if you buy something from Amazon, they wrap it in a, 
in a little protective uh, bubble wrap and you pop and the air comes out of the bubbles that's what it is it's just air movement um, within the joint space um, but sometimes I feel a lot of clients they, they, they get too focused they get too obsessed with the sound so you know they, they come to see me just to get the sound which is ridiculous and, and not, not all adjustments pop So that's good. So for this client, he told me that his preference for, for the neck joints, um, he wasn't too comfortable with, with the hands on one. So usually for patients like this, around the sho shoulder, upper back region, we start to go back to the activator, which is what I'm using now. And that's good. And now we go to the neck. Now I'm using the hands to feel, to feel which joints are not functioning properly. Uh, but once we go to the adjustments, you'll see me going back to to using the activator. We're still checking now, by the way. It's no, just checking. So for clients like this, uh, when where they're a bit uncomfortable with the with the popping. Um, Usually I just remind them when I'm checking the, the neck, hey, I know, I'm just checking, still checking, um, just to let them know I'm not going to surprise them and just, you know, pop their neck. <laughs> so here's the adjustment. Um, and the good thing about the activator is that it, it, it's got different settings. I think this one's got about seven settings. So there's a you know, low, low pulse for smaller smaller bones, smaller joints like the jaw the upper neck and then medium strength for you know the medium ones like the upper back middle back and then as we go to the bigger hip joints and things like that uh, knee joints we, we use a, a higher setting just to get more a, a deeper release into the joints Here's me feeling the, the jaw seeing if that's working properly the jaw and the up, upper neck has a has a good relationship with each other. Usually if there's tension in one, you'll, you'll, you'll see it in the other joints too. Just checking the ankle joints, they're nice and springy. So that's a pull adjustment for the ankle. Um, a lot of people with ankles, they get gets jammed together. Really, really common issue. Um, obviously, because we're standing on the feet. So there's a lot of pressure. Our whole body weights on, on, on the poor little ankles. So often, oftentimes they need adjusting. In this case, it was just the left side. So uh, we move on to the knee, which is what this is. Getting that fibula um, bone moving normally that's that feels good just checking the back of the knee Back of the knee is good. Now we move on to the shoulders. So shoulders, two important mo uh, movements for the shoulders. The first one is the, the one you're seeing now, which is sliding back. So if, if you're able to bring the, the, the arm bone back into the shoulder socket, and the second one's this one, which is, are you able to point both, uh, both hands to the ceiling completely straight, you know, next, next to your ears, uh, elbow straight, those are the two most important uh, movements for the shoulder. If one of them starts to, to falter, you, you'll start having symptoms or you'll start having degenerative issues down the line. So that's what we always want to focus on is chiropractic at the end of the day. It's, it's not so much about waiting for pain to happen or waiting for symptoms to happen and then you put the symptom out. It's really about making sure that all the joints in the body from head to toe is functioning as they should 
And if that's the case, you get to prevent a lot of issues from happening. Checking the wrists. Also another one we use our, you know, we grip things every single day, heavy things, light things, we write, we type, all these, all these activities put, puts a lot of stress into the, the forearms, the wrist joints, even the thumbs and the fingers as well. So we've got to make sure everything's working, working well, turning in. So there's something in the elbow on the side, just wiggle, wiggle, free that up. That's good. So I think I'm just showing him a couple of things right now. A couple of things that I found. Give you the executive summary. Perfect. Use the use the spine model. Why not, huh? So that's what I like to do. At the end of the session, every session, I'll, usually I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what's doing better uh, compared to the last time. And I'll also uh, show you what's doing uh, not so good. So, you know, I call it the, 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 the main issue today. Uh, which joint is showing the most dysfunction? And then I'll say, you know, it's up to you. Um, I recommend to see me again in this, you know, how many weeks? To get it checked again, because at the end of the day, we're using our bodies every day. New issues happen all the time. All right, see you guys.